Hey guys, and welcome to primandprep.com. Today we're going to be reviewing the Lord L6 three-piece safety razor. Um, it's made out of two different materials. The handle's made out of aluminum, and the two headpieces are made out of uh, chrome, chrome plating. So it makes this unit pretty head-heavy, um, because the headpiece probably makes up definitely more than half of its overall weight. It weighs in on my scale at 1.5 ounces, which is pretty light for a safety razor, and definitely too light for my liking. I like safety razors to be closer to 3 ounces, which is twice the twice how much this thing weighs. Um, having a light safety razor, you end up using a lot of muscle to to cut through the hairs instead of using just the weight of the safety razor itself to do the majority of the cutting, which is something that this thing definitely lacks in. In terms of balance, the balance point is just above where the grip is, which is pretty bad for maneuvering this thing around. Um, when I'm holding it, I'm not even holding it on the grip, I'm just holding it on this shiny aluminum part that's pretty slippery, um, but that's where the balance point is. It forces me to kind of have to move down the handle, but then I can't maneuver it as well. And if I have my hand a little bit higher, trying to maneuver from one hand grip to another, I end up running into problems with how long the handle is. And I have long hands. I mean, I have large hands, so um, people with small hands are definitely going to have trouble maneuvering it around compared to a shorter safety razor. Uh, yeah, so the overall length of it is 4.25 uh, inches, which is one of the longest safety razors I own. And typically I like long handles, but since the um, balance is all off, it's kind of a frustrating thing for me. In terms of the grip, um, the best parts are the, the little horizontal deep grooves at the bottom and at the top. That's where you have the best grip. And then these cross hatch grooves that are along this aluminum handle are not deep enough to really notice any difference. Uh, it kind of feels like it is up here. Uh, you don't really notice them, and if your hands are slippery, you could definitely slip right off this thing. I feel like if they made these grooves a little bit deeper, it'd add to the grip a lot, but it's definitely lacking, lacking in terms of the grip. In terms of the aggressiveness, I would rate it about a 5 out of 10 on my aggressiveness scale, which is uh, more aggressive than I would recommend a beginner just starting out with wet shaving use. Um, I'd recommend like a 3 or a 4 or, or even a 2. Uh, once you get to 5 it starts getting a little bit too aggressive. You should, lear you should learn proper technique first using a uh, very mild safety razor. Um, and that's kind of the conundrum you're in because it's a $10 safety razor so it's not a big investment. But it's also more aggressive than I would like for any beginner um, to use. So you might spend $10 and then not end up liking it, but it could just because, be because of the safety razor and you don't get a good shave because of how aggressive it is and how the quality of the shave you get for $10. So it's kind of a conundrum. But uh, for overall, for $10, you know, it's not bad to, not bad to try out. Uh, let's go over the three-piece design. Just like any other three-piece design, it's really easy to clean all the pieces of the head. And it's really easy to take apart. You just got to be careful with blade replacement a little bit because it is a little bit... You have to handle the blades a little bit more. And you have a higher chance of getting, getting cut compared to like a butterfly open safety razor. Cool. So there's putting a blade in. Let's see if you can focus in on that. Here's the headpiece. And yeah, they tried to kind of mimic a, like a Mercure, a typical Mercure headpiece, like a 34C. It kind of looks similar, except it has the Lord logo on the uh, top headpiece. Cool, so yeah, 
If you take good care of the headpiece, you know, it should remain clean for a while. My biggest gripe I have with it is that this headpiece is kind of loose. And it doesn't seat the blade perfectly, I've noticed. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes I have to adjust it. Which is kind of a pain. Um, overall, I just would rather have a safety razor that seats it perfectly every single time so I don't have to worry about one side being more aggressive and the other side being less aggressive because as you shave you use one side and then you just flip right on and over to the other side and start start shaving and then clean out both sides. Um, yeah, so this is my review of the Lord 6, uh, Lord L6 uh, three-piece safety razor. You know, for ten dollars it's not that bad but there's a lot of things that I wish you know they did better. There are um, options that are <clears throat> around the same price range, ten to fifteen dollars, that are better in my opinion. Uh, like the, for example, the Wishi, the Wishi nine three zero six. I also have. It was about fifteen dollars. It's a butterfly open, and I think it shapes better and has a lot better qualities than this one. But uh, let me go. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and head over to primandprep.com. There should be. A link floating around here right now that you could head over there and check out more safety razor reviews and overall just male grooming male grooming tips um, and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like this type of review um, if you like this type of information that would be cool thanks guys